Hi and welcome. Today we're talking about a dedicated French diver whose discovery changed his and everyone's who admires history lives. The year is 1991. A French underwater explorer has found the most spectacular prehistoric art gallery since the discovery of the now world-famous Lascaux cave paintings 50 years ago. Although the only entrance to the newly discovered cave is 120 feet underwater, the cavern containing the 14,000-year-old art treasure is just above sea level. France, southern shores of Marcel. Nobody could have thought that this beautiful and untouched mountainside was hiding a 10,000-year-old secret underneath it. The story begins with the Henry Cosquer, a professional French diver who discovered the drowned entrance to the cave which had been indicated to him by a diver friend in 1985. The same year he progressively explored the submerged cave alone and then with a friend and diving instructor from his club. Cosker went back alone a few more times in 1985 and discovered the underground lake. And that was his limit what he could do alone. In June 1990, Henry asked for help of two Belgian cave divers who had come to dive and assist Henry. The same day, they made a footage of surroundings as well. When they have reached the underground lake seen by Cosker in 1985, their guideline being too short forced them to turn back in order to exit safely by following their guideline towards the entrance. At this stage, the non-submerged part of the cave was still not explored. In 1991, Henry Cosker and his friend were both determined to finally go to the end of this cave. Their dive lasted about 30 minutes and only allowed them to briefly explore the first room to which they had direct access. A few days later, on July 9, 1991, Cosker decided to go back to explore the cave to the very detail in company of friends and instructors of his diving club. It was during this dive that a more detailed exploration of the unflooded part of the cave was carried out. Only then they saw the shades of a hands on the wall. This discovery encouraged them to return and actively search for other traces. Several dives in July and August of 1991 enabled them to discover the cave paintings and to make films and photos. At that time, they were not sure with what kind of prehistorical cave are they dealing with. Therefore, the idea was to declare this discovery to the official institutions. On September 1st, 1991, there was a triple fatal accident in the cave. Three divers did not find the exit of the access from the 175-meter cave. Henry and his colleague participated in the recovery of the bodies. Two days later, on September 3rd, Henry declared the cave to the Maritime Affairs Department in Marcel. Four-fifths of the cave, including cave wall art, were permanently or periodically submerged and destroyed by seawater. Nearly 500 pieces of cave art remain, which date back to two distinct periods during the Upper Paleolithic period. The first phase, from around 27,000 years BP, is represented by art consisting of 75 hand stencils, 44 in black and 21 in red. Art from more recent period dates to 19,000 years BP and features much more complex various animals and human figures. In total, there are over 170 paintings. The cave entrance, which now hides 37 meters below the sea level, was about 120 meters above it at the time when our ancestors been living there. Our ancestors have left us with many mysteries, riddles, 
questions to solve, with who they were and how much they appreciated this beautiful place we are living in, are not among them. Thanks for watching.